This year's playoffs has been very, very interesting. Um, needless to say, uh, I know everybody has been really shocked and surprised that the Lakers got put out in the first round. Uh, not just because of the Phoenix Suns, but, you know, the Lakers, they had a pretty decent squad. Um, you know, of course, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, uh, and the rest of the guys that are pretty good in the team, but they got put, in the, put out in the first round. But this is not what this video is about. This video is about the LA Clippers. Yeah, the other Los Angeles team. These guys, last year they didn't do too hot, but this year they're doing they're doing a whole lot better from last year. And um, I'm kind of you know I'm glad that they are doing better than last year. And um, it's just you know this year playoffs has been real real unpredictable, real unpredictable. Uh, but let's keep on topic with the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, yeah, they just got done playing the series against the Utah, Utah Jazz, and they beat them. They beat the Utah Jazz in Game Six, which would which advances them to the conference finals, which is which is tomorrow. Actually, it's tomorrow against the Phoenix Suns. Um, but the way they finished the series with the Jazz, uh, a lot of I think a lot a lot of people probably counted them out. That they wouldn't do real good. No, main thing because uh, Utah Jazz was the number one seed in the West. Uh, they were awesome offense, defense was real good. Uh, plus, you get you know Donovan Mitchell leading the team, uh, Rudy Gobert, uh, the anchor of the defense and all that stuff. But um, <clears throat> they just didn't have what it take to you know hold on and try to try to force a game seven. And win this series and go into the finals. But with that being said, the Clippers they were without Kawhi Leonard. I guess you can see that, that he's the team leader, uh, or whatever, other than Paul George. But they beat the Jazz without Kawhi Leonard. And you know, the last game they just played, Game Six, they had a real, real good game because. Not only did they came back from a 25 point deficit, a 25 point deficit, I, I, you heard me right, a 25 point deficit. They came all the way back up and beat these guys without Kawhi Leonard. I know it's just one one player, but you know Kawhi gives you 20 plus points a game, you know at least by six, seven rebounds a game, three, four assists or whatever. But that's a, that's a huge, huge part of the team he's a huge part of the team but it, it didn't matter it really didn't matter because you had Paul George step up he had 28 points Reggie Jackson stepped up he had 27 points even Nicholas Batum he stepped up he was a starting center and scored 16 points 16 points and 7 rebounds but that's not the highlight of the win of the LA Clippers. Terrence Mann. A lot of people probably haven't heard of this guy. I probably heard of him, but don't think too much of him. But this guy can play. I've seen him play a few games this this season and seen that he has real, real good potential to be a star in this league. As long as he's playing under the right system, uh, playing right and all stuff like that, and um, keep it a level head. But this guy. In this last game, in game six, he outscored Paul George and Reggie Jackson. How many points he had? He had 39 points on 15 of 21 shooting, which is 71%, and 7 of 10 from three point range, which is 70%. This guy was actually absolutely going crazy on the court. Crazy. It's like even in the first few minutes of the game, he scored 10 straight points right off the bat. Within the first two, three minutes, he already had our score like eight, 10 points. I guess because they were too focused on like Paul George and Reggie Jackson, but they didn't realize that Terrence Mann, he can really hoop. This guy can really, really hoop. Now he's a two year man. He was only averaging seven points for the year, but come playoff time, you know, and his number was called to step up in the absence of Kawhi Leonard and he came out and he produced he did a very 
very good job a very good job so got the Clippers beating the Jazz and so you got the Clippers going on to the finals to play against Phoenix now this is gonna be an interesting series against Phoenix that's well it's only if Chris Paul is able to come back uh, he's under the uh, safety protocol the health protocol by the NBA um, or whatever so it's gonna be interesting so I would love to, I would love to see that Paul George and Devin Booker matchup but it really depends on if Kawhi comes on back healthy or whatever and um they're gonna either put Paul George or Kawhi Leonard on Devin Devin Booker which is gonna be I would say tough for, for Devin Booker but the guy can really really score he, he's he's a high high volume scorer high volume shooter and he just he's real tough on offense defense side uh he probably would need to improve on that seeing that he's gonna be going against Paul George and Kawhi Leonard which are two two very very skilled and very very good offensive players um so it's gonna be tough for him but you seen this they got some tough players on defense you got like Mikael Bridges you got Jay Crowder um, you got Chris Paul. That's like I said. It's if, he, if he comes back in time within, let's say he come back uh, game two. It's if he don't come back tomorrow, let's say he come back game two, it makes a big difference. And um, this should be a very interesting series. Like I said, um, the center play, the big man play. Uh, I don't think Nicholas Batum could withstand playing against DeAndre Ayton. But, you know, never know. Nixon Platoon has been known as being a real, real good defensive player. But with the size of DeAndre Aiden, DeAndre Aiden is like, what, 7'1". Seven seven Nicholas Platoon is only like, what, 6'8", six 6'9". Six so this is kind of a big height advantage right there. But um, I don't know. We, we shall see. We shall see. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, this year's playoff has been real, real crazy a lot of good games a lot of good series um other than the lakers series which i mean the clipper like i said yeah I, I said it right the lakers series that you know you seen lakers go down in the first round against Phoenix. So i still can't get over that but hey it is what it is you can't win them all so yeah so i just want to do this little quick video on the clippers making it to the finals this is the first time they make it to the finals ever and then think about it, the Clippers had some teams that could have made it to the finals years ago when they had Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, uh, what, is, what is his name, uh, Matt Barnes, uh, Eric Bledsoe. Like, they had some very good players that they could have made to the finals with. But this Clippers team right here, they're, they're like redeeming themselves from last year, which I'm, I'm glad they are. But yeah, who, who knows who would make it out of the Western Finals to make it to the NBA Finals? Uh, it'd be very interesting if I if you see the Clippers and the 76ers in the finals. It would be very interesting to see those two play in the finals, which might happen. It might. But let me know. Let me know down in the comments who y'all think would make it to the NBA Finals. Would it be the Clippers or the the uh, Suns coming out of the West? I would. And then you have the East, the 76ers, Atlanta Hawks. Or then you have Milwaukee Bucks and the Nets that are still playing that series as well. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos, guys.